All right, here's the roof we are wrapping up on. The guys are down there. It's new construction tied onto an existing garage. The guys are finishing up. I ran down the road to do a quick inspection, measure for a roof. I'll show you that here in a minute. You can see the side back there where the snow is. That is the original garage roof. Everything towards me facing out to the west is all new construction. They're wrapping up. It's a little wet. Um, actually, a couple things to look at real quick. You can see the insulation on the house it might be a little lacking because they're hanging on the gable. Still got snow. Um, a little bit of wet shingles we were working with back here, so you got a little lines going in. It's got some box vents on the dormer on the back side. That's what the owner wanted to match the garage. Anyway, that's where they're at. I just sent the drone up real quick. I'm down the road. Figured I would come buzz down and check on them real quick. I am down here at this commercial building, red roof, uh, sorry, red brick. See my truck in the parking lot there. It uh, is a little tall. Let me buzz back down here. I'm flying the uh, Spark the DJI Spark drone right now. It's only a two axis gimbal. It works really good for roofing what I'm doing, but in sport mode, because the two axis gimbal, the camera rocks a little bit like this. Uh, we're going about 30 mile an hour right now. coming buzzing back up to us. That is the roof I was on. We're going up to, you can see my feet track, uh, my feet print up on the roof back here. I may put the flight mode into uh, tripod mode here, way more stable on this uh, Spark. I need to actually get a new drone. Somebody, a, a company sent me a drone to try to do a review on. Full disclosure, they gave it to me to do one on. But the problem I don't like is I can't pan straight down with the gimbal like this one. And it's really important. So, for example, if I'm up over this roof and I need to look straight down from center above to sketch and measure a roof like this, that drone doesn't. So far, that's the biggest downside. I don't want to say the name of the, the drone yet because um, I want to email them and let them know the issue. It stays down at like 80 Oh, we what cut out there? I'm not sure. Hopefully it's still going. Anyway, so I might email the company and say, hey, there's a few things I don't like, but I don't want to not do the video. Um, I might still do it if they allow me to and then just give the drone away to a viewer for free. But anyway, you can see the tracks right there where I went up, had my extension ladder up there, walked over. It was a little sketchy. I was going to throw it up to that next section, but uh, I didn't feel it. It was a little risky feeling, so I opted to send the drone up. That's what I'm up here doing. As I said, I'm just going to get some measurements of it from here. I already did my low flyby, did the uh, shots I need to do the sketches. The guy that owns the building told me it is one layer. You know, down the road, if he's serious about a price, I can do a core sample to verify before doing the job. But just a quick evening flight while we wrap up down here. Let's go buzz by them once more. I love this little DJI drone. This is an older drone, actually. Um, I might buy a new DJI like a Mavic, Mavic Pro Mini, something like that. Can't go wrong with the software and the stability, the gimbal, the quality. But like anything, you pay for what you get. So even though that drone I was sent, in sport mode, this one doesn't go all the way down on the gimbal, but that's to be expected with a two axis gimbal. Uh, of course, you gotta not break laws and regulations, so I gotta stay within sight of all times, which I, right there, hey, I can see it. Never lose sight of it without a spotter. Um, just wanted to do a drone shot. I was going to actually try to do a quick live of this and upload it with the RSTMP server, I believe, to YouTube. But the problem is here in this little town, I cannot get an internet signal, just cell phone. So I'll have to upload this later from the iPad. <clears throat> All right, let's head back. We're losing daylight. I need to get back to them and uh, double check everything. Oh, I need to fly west. Ooh, turn back. Ooh, pretty good view out right now. Let's pan up, look out to the west here. Back to my home point. And we'll do a quick little pan around. We're only at 250 feet, traveling about 20 mile an hour into the wind here. And let's do a quick pan around. This town's actually a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. Right out there at the horizon, there's a really big Bex factory plant. Um, it's a seed researcher. I don't know what all they actually do, but it's the biggest one I've seen. All right, time to bring her down. These batteries are old. They're about four years old. 
it's cold, they weren't supercharged. I don't want to get down to a low threshold and then have it just fall out of the sky. It's a quick little drone shot. Actually, let's do a quick flyby of this. Well, I still got a little bit of power. We'll keep it close. Yeah, that section I went up on, it was rotten down near the bottom. I was like, ooh, I got my hands out, just kind of tiptoeing around, didn't want to fall through, but if I did, I'd at least catch myself, you know, with my arms. I got up to that next one, over to that rubber flat, and I'm like, there, uh, no, not doing it, don't want to die. So I said I got the drone out, did what I needed to do, and wanted to go see them and figured I'd do a quick video. But drones are super handy, though. I mean, you can get right up on this super quick. It doesn't take uh, anything to set this up. You got at least this particular drone has a 1080 um, resolution on it. It live feeds 720, so it's clear if you pull the SD card off or upload the file afterwards. There, I might guess I should technically be looking at the drone, but I'm right within sight of it. <clears throat> uh, looks like there's another little parapet wall here. The rubber's all peeled back and loose. I don't know how old it is. The biggest issue with doing rubber right now is just trying to find the material. I gotta get in touch with him, find out if he wants those lower sections figured or not. It's quite the, uh, quite the fall. That's something we definitely have to uh, have a crane bring in or uh, boom up all the material. Not a terribly big job or hard job, but nevertheless. Uh, all right. Let me know if you guys want to see the other drone video footage. And I will email the company before I take the time to do it. Like I said, I'm not going to talk bad about the drone. Unless there's bad to speak about. But there are a few things with that drone that I do not like. Biggest being the gimbal doesn't tilt 100% down. It's like 80 degrees and not 90, and that's a problem when you're trying to sketch roofs. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to email the company and be like, hey, I still like the drone at the price. I'll still do a video on it and offer the drone as a giveaway. I don't know, let me know your thoughts if I end up doing that. They may say no, send it back. I, I really don't know. I've never had a sponsored video, at least to this extent, to where they gave me something, so it's a first for me. A little breezy, and that's holding it pretty well. 20% power is going to say, hey, send a... Battery level is low. Is. The aircraft will go to the home point cool. in 10 seconds. Safety feature. Let me bring us in, and uh, it's probably going to start beeping at me, saying uh, auto collision detected. Well, it doesn't show it now, but in flight, the uh, infrared sensors. Infrared sensors in this part came out. You can sense how close you are. There are some below it, so it can tell an auto land. Uh, some of the newer ones have actually 360 auto collision detection. All right, we got to wrap up now. Battery's low. We're over eight minutes. I got to get down there and check that uh, job out. Until next time, be safe. See you on the next one. Let me know if you like the drone style. I'll do it a little bit more often. I actually use the drone rather often. Just here lately, we've had some really nasty weather. Snow, cold, windy. Another couple months of this, we'll get back into the spring. Nice roofing. Yeah. Oh, it's always cool to see a video within a video within a video. And if you look close enough, we're going to go down the tunnel. Tunnel vision. Whoop.